Watch this if you're in your 30s, lost, and achieve nothing in life. Hi everyone, I'm Sally, a mom who made the bold decision to quit my stable nursing job and dive into the unpredictable world of entrepreneurship. It's been a journey filled with struggles, doubts, and setbacks. Today, I want to share my story with you in the hope that it will inspire anyone feeling lost or overwhelmed. When I had my kids, I knew I wanted to spend time with them growing up. I don't want to miss anything special. I want to be with them. So I decided to explore opportunities where I can earn at home while taking care of my kids. It was a very scary move. It's like going into the dark and not knowing what's on the other end. One thing is all I want for sure, time and financial freedom. Maybe you're feeling like that too. In today's world, there's this pressure to have everything figured out by your 30s or even by your 20s. Follow what the society is telling you to do. Finish school, get a job, save enough money to retire until you die. If you haven't made it by then you're considered a failure but i'm here to tell you it's never too late everything you want in life is still out there waiting for you to reach out and grab it no one has their life completely figured out we're all figuring things out as we go i was watching a video by ali abdal the other day and he explained why we often feel lost it's because we don't know where to go where we are or how to get to where we want to be when you see others who seem to have it all together Remember that they might be struggling too, just in different ways. Let me share some personal experiences with you. When I decided to quit nursing, it felt like the biggest mistake of my life. I started a few business ventures that failed miserably. I even got scammed once, losing a significant amount of money. There were days when I felt nothing was working. I questioned my decision constantly, wondering if I should go back to my nursing career. Entrepreneurship is a totally different thing. I don't have any experience whatsoever, so I started from scratch. Someone who always excelled in school, people had high expectations for me. I felt success when I came to Canada and became a nurse, but when I quit my nursing job, I felt like I was lost, not sure where to go, don't know where to start and what to do. If you're feeling lost or like you haven't accomplished anything in life, know that it's a good thing. It means you're aware that something needs to change. Consider it as an opportunity to take action and make a positive change. Life is not a straight line and we all have different timelines and paths. Remember, every day is a chance for rebirth and renewal. Jeff Bezos talks about the philosophy of day one where every day is an opportunity to start fresh and make new decisions. You can change your life at any point in time. When I started my first YouTube channel, it failed miserably. I failed to set realistic expectations for myself. I thought that when I start and create a channel, it would work out as easy as what other YouTubers are saying. But I was wrong and I kept going. The key was persistence and being open to trying new things. I've learned to set realistic expectations and understand myself better. I dedicated many years to self-awareness and self-discovery, journaling, and learning from others. This helped me understand my strengths and weaknesses and guided my actions. Once you know yourself better, it's time to take action. Experiment with new things and learn from each experience. There's no such thing as failure if you're learning. For instance, if you're stuck in a job you hate, try starting a side hustle. If it doesn't work out, move on to something else. Keep experimenting until you find what works for you. Let me give you an example. After I quit my nursing career, I tried several online business ventures like Amazon FBA, dropshipping, selling courses, coaching, mentorship, MLM, network marketing, you name it. I invested a lot of time and money into it. Some of them worked, some didn't. At first, I felt like a complete failure, but then I realized I learned valuable lessons about marketing, branding, and customer service. So I moved on to the next idea with more knowledge and a better plan. When we went back to the Philippines, my husband and I tried traditional businesses like kids entertainment and franchising a restaurant. But with some challenges, we had to close them, losing hundreds of thousands of pesos in that franchise business alone. We learned a lot from the mistakes we made, and I'm gonna be sharing those in another video. That incident was another bump 
in the road. But I didn't let that stop me. Each experience taught me something new about myself and my strengths. Through these trials, I discovered my passion for content creation through YouTube. I created YouTube channels and made videos about topics that excites me, my hobbies, my passion, and just creating value. From this, it then lead us to a new business. I then realized that when you lose something in your life, better things are coming your way. And when you focus on giving value, money will come to you. So by giving value through the videos that I upload on YouTube, it then gives birth to a new side hustle. And if you're thinking about starting a side hustle, here are a few tips. Start small. Don't quit your job right away. Start with something manageable that you can do in your free time. This reduces the risk and allows you to test the waters. Second is follow your interests. Choose something you're passionate about. This will keep you motivated even when things get tough. For me, it was sharing my journey and helping others find their path. Third is learn continuously. Take online courses, read books, and watch tutorials related to your side hustle. The more you learn, the better you'll get and the more you earn. Next is network. Connect with others in your field. Join online communities, attend webinars, and engage with people who share your interests. Networking can provide support advice, and potential opportunities. Next is be patient. Success doesn't happen overnight. Stay patient and keep pushing forward, even when the progress seems slow. Another story I'd like to share is about a friend of mine. She was also a nurse who felt burnt out and wanted a change. She loved baking and decided to start a home bakery. She began by selling to friends and family. At first, the orders were small, but her passion and dedication paid off. Her business grew through the word of mouth, and now she has her own bakery shop. Her story shows that starting small and being persistent can lead to great success. It's important to remember that everyone's journey is different. Some people find success quickly, while others take longer. The key is to keep moving forward and not to get discouraged by any setbacks. Every failure is a stepping stone to success. If you're unsure about what side hustle to start, think about what you enjoy doing in your free time. Maybe you love writing, cooking, or graphic design. Turn that passion into a side hustle. Even if it doesn't become your full-time job, it can bring in extra income and provide a creative outlet. For those of you who feel overwhelmed by the idea of starting something new, break it down into small steps. Make a plan and set achievable goals. For instance, if you want to start a blog, your first step could be choosing a niche, setting up a website, and writing your first post. Take it one step at a time. And finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. Reach out to friends, family, or online communities for support and advice. There are countless resources available to help you succeed. Remember, the most important thing is to take that first step. You won't know what you're capable of until you try. So go out there, experiment, and keep learning. Your path to success is waiting for you to discover it. I hope my story and tips inspire you to take action and create the life you want. If you want to learn more from me, watch this video next.